Hello and welcome to Humberston Fitties on this bright spring day. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make a potato tower. Now this is great if you haven't got a lot of space. If you've only got a little area in your backyard, it's very easy, very cheap and very quick to make. Now you may think, why is he here with an egg tray and an old car tyre? Well, here we go. I bought these potatoes the other day. Uh, I bought them from a, a local hardware shop. Now the main crop potatoes. These are not the nice sweet potatoes that you eat in June, that you dig up and eat with your salads. These are the potatoes to keep you going all the way through the winter. This is a variety called pink fir apple. Now when you get them from the shop, they're all wrapped up in a bag, but they're doing no good in there. All these tiny little sprouts on the outside, they'll all be blanched white and they'll be very tender and very brittle. So they'll, they'll snap as soon as you put them in the ground or they come in contact with anything. So what I recommend you do Rather than leaving them in a tray, so that when you take them anywhere they roll about, the sprouts fall off, go and ask your local butcher, egg merchant, if he's got an old egg tray. They're absolutely perfect for the job. Now if you lay your potatoes down in here, not only are they safe, the buds are all showing so they can all get some light, the air can get all around them so they don't go rotten, they also make it very easy to move about. Now you can carry this from one place to the other and as you see, they don't really move about, nothing's going to get damaged in there. So, as soon as you get them back from the shop, put them into something like an old egg tray. Don't put them in the sunshine, put them on a, a bright room but not direct sunshine on them, just so they've got some light. Don't put them in the dark because that won't do them any good. Now, what we've got here is an old car tyre. Now I got this from a garage. I went in and said, have you got any old car tyres I can have please? Now this is absolutely rubbish for driving about and as you can see it's got no tread at all, but for our purpose it's fantastic. Now, an old sack of compost. Now I've just ripped it in half and I'm just lining the inside of the tyre. Now what this does, it stops your potatoes from coming in contact with the inside of the tyre, which might have some toxins in, you know, but at least if it's got that a bit of plastic there, everything will be nice and safe. So, with some multi-purpose compost, nothing special, don't go out and get anything with lots of food in it, start to fill up your car tyre. Now when it's a couple of inches deep, we use three potatoes in this one because it's only a small car tyre, Put them in, right in the bottom, in a sort of triangle shape, so that all the sprouts are pointing upwards. Now they're right at the bottom. A lot of people think potatoes are a root vegetable, they're not actually, they're, a, they're what's called a swollen tuber. Now what happens is, you've got to imagine it rather like a tomato plant, which they're very closely related to. As the tomato plant grows up, you have little tomatoes coming up off the side. Now it's exactly the same with the potato, but what we do with a potato is earth it up. So the potatoes aren't actually growing under the ground, they're growing over ground and we're covering them so that they don't go green, basically. So when you put your potatoes in there, again, just gently cover them up with handfuls of multi-purpose compost. Now this was a very cheap bag, it was a 25 litre sack and it only cost me three pounds so it isn't a, a very expensive task and from the amount of potatoes you'll get out at the end, I think you'll find it's well worth it, apart from you've actually got the pleasure of growing your own potatoes. So as I say it's not much compost there and all the potatoes are covered. Now in a few weeks time each of those potatoes will send, be sending forth a little sprout and it'll be coming up, a little bud coming up above the soil. When it does, again, cover it over again with another layer of compost until it's right to the top of the tyre. Now when it comes through again Go back to your garage, say, have you got another car tyre please? They'll be happy to give them away, they have to uh, pay to get rid of these things. And you can store it once you've finished, maybe at the back of your shed until next year. So when you've got your next car tyre, put it on top, again, fill it up with a bit of compost, let those potatoes grow through, keep filling it with compost, keep topping it up, the potatoes will keep going through, then you add another tyre. Now in the end, by about August, maybe September time, when the potatoes are starting to die back, you could have a tower of potatoes eight, nine foot high. 
only using that much space of land. Now it's a fantastic way to use the land, even if you haven't got any mud in your own garden. You could put a set of car tyres and have yourself a potato tower. Good luck. All you have to do at the end, tip the potato tower over and everywhere's tumbling out with potatoes. Thank you.